you, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone okay, where the left, killer might you got to watch the bodies. And, and what okay. size is this uh, Good thing there's something up there. I'm going to definitely be uh, putting there a, for the a moment, lot list for YouTube. About ten square miles. Stuff, uh, later on this month. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. Are you going to question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Okay, that was that, uh... The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? What a douchebag. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. That's not good. First off, that's a terrible way to die, by the way. Especially for kids. Like, drowning is one of my biggest fears as far as death goes, but... Definitely drowning in the rainwater, you know, doing about it would be pretty awful. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. You can't swim. We need to fix that. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Yo, Quantum Dots, thank you for... Call the cops. The love... Encryption. <laughs> Even my sound was delayed. Oh, <laughs> my That sub-hype, now you have access... What looks like? The game emote. Thank you for the sub, Quantum. I really appreciate that. We get some some Diddy Watson chat. You got some spam those. Here we go. <laughs> Remix, yeah, basically. I'm gonna fix the alerts at some point, but it, like Streamlabs, I don't know. The last like month or so, month and a half, like it's been like boosting my CPU to like 100. percent So, but thank you for that sub. You got that haiku now. Nice combo. Appreciate the love and support. You are now a member of the Rapscallion Club. You can wear that badge prou uh, proudly. Good to have you here. You'll be having some, some pretty good fun with uh, some sub stuff pretty soon, and including a sub giveaway. Um, most likely at the end of the month. And uh, I do have plans for... A uh, sub giveaway for people that are uh, set up the channel at some point as well. So, really appreciate you guys all hanging out. It's been an uh, amazing month. I uh, really appreciate everyone who's been supporting me. And I'll be using that that cash um, in the future to really help uh, do some stuff with the stream. It's been pretty fun. 
But yeah. Thank you again, Quantum. I really appreciate that. Alright, uh, let's get back into the game. Let me uh, try and not blow up ears with the mixer right now. Here we go. Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Okay, I hope He's that's a god good. fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. Alright, let's see if that's right. He was back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Yo, OG, what's up, man? He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. What the hell's going on here? Real twisted. Well, OG, you came in at an interesting time because there's some weird shit going on here. There's a lot of crosses. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. You do great, and I just want to support it. Well, thank you, Quantum. I really appreciate that. Okay, what is happening here? Is that milk? Okay, so you have a religious zealot of some kind. What is on the walls? Definitely booking in here of no um, no warrant though. Not much debating on uh, more family matters or either uh, hop on a game. You, you, you thirsty for family matters like that? I mean, family matters doesn't go anywhere. We get that game time in. Family matters has been around for 30 years. I think it'd be fine. Alright, so I guess this is all we on this room right now we can actually examine. What about in here? What's going on in the closet? Is that R. Kelly? It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. See, I gotta remember to use the, um, the left trigger to look at what he's thinking about. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. Lots of drugs, lots of pills. <laughs> yeah, trapped in the closet, the new version, yeah. Someone's really religious right now, but I don't know if I see a lot evidence-wise besides just being a fanatic. Is this a room or a closet? What's in there? A lot of, lot of pills. He hasn't been doing too well, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to remember to use all my tools. Like, you can, you can change the camera angles and uh, see what he's about. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Like he's got tons of pills everywhere. Clearly he's lost control of his contempt and sense of reality at this point. You know what this guy is. Excuse you too, asshole.
help. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. You just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Okay. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Okay. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Okay, well that, that's not enough. That's not enough. What about the voices, a, Nathaniel? Me. Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them Blake, stop. You what took are you that doing? boy with you and you drowned him! Isn't yeah, that yeah, right? Uh, you, you had no evidence on him, bro. No! Stop! Killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Are you beating suspects now? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. You ain't taking for a weapon first before sorry, you start beating on him. Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Demon, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Uh. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. This is getting pretty God, intense right now, guys. Of his empire and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Back away, slowly. Come on. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Oh god, I didn't mean to shoot him. What? I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. I didn't I wasn't trying to shoot him. Like like the the, the quick time event popped up first. Damn it. 
I don't know if I can go back and do it, do it again either. <laughs> I wasn't trying to shoot him. It's hard. It's hard to resist the quick time event when it pops up on the screen when things are happening. All right. Look, I just put, I put in the word. All right. I got I got him to put the gun down. There was another option. I didn't see another option. I only saw was R one pop up on the screen. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Now you're shaming me for this. Look, all right. I was trying to do the right thing. Oh my god! Look, I, I was trying to do the right thing, guys. All right. But when he started, when he starts moving, and the quick time event pops up, my instinct, my instinct, kind of is like, yeah, nah, nah. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again, guys. <laughs> two to the down, that was one to the down. It was one to the down. It wasn't two. It wasn't two. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy Mars was up. Welcome to the stream. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Wait, I mean, you were right, Siren. Like, uh, like he's pushing a psychological profile on this guy. He doesn't even know him. Well, he's not our guy. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go Blake, and find that kid in the doing? park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Did John Wick Von Doom? Look, all right, I was, I was <laughs> just enough. trying to do the right thing. So you obeyed them to make them stop. That's the game trouble me with those with those trolly ass quick time right? events popping up on the screen. All right. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? We're gonna be the, we're the uh, ultimate negotiator. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. It'll be fine. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. Okay. You shall know divine power. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right leave our now planet, and guys. return He's to get the realm of shadows. Here. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return this to the realm lot. of shadows this is really good and leave in, in, our Nathaniel uh, in peace. Uh, Christ our power, HD right now. defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Back away, slowly. Okay, all right. Let's go on, let's go on like last time, it's gonna be fine. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. There won't be any bullets to the face. No one's gotta die here. Put your hands on your head. No more stupid quick time events popping up on my way. Turn around. Motherfucker! See, there wasn't, there wasn't another option there. It was just one. I'm mean, going to shoot him in the face. I exercise thee, Satan. 
Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. <laughs> Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. <laughs> we did it, guys. All right, he's still alive in one piece. And they got a trophy for it. Look at that. All right, we didn't shoot someone in the head. I'm happy. This is an old school car. What the hell are you doing driving that around? Even for a, a private PI. That's what you did. <laughs> Look, Chip, sorry, please. All right, this is this is this is this is back in the future. Okay, never happened. All right, I have time travel abilities. You know, the game wasn't trolling me anyway at that trolling ass cutscene. He would have never ended up with his head being blown off. All right. You didn't have self control. Look, when when every game is telling you the the follow QTEs in quick time events, and then it pops up on the screen, it's hard not that you're already on edge. All right, you're already on edge. You're just waiting to push the trigger. Is that an '83 Chevy? Is it? Baby. Anybody home? It looks like I did drop a few frames, Jimmy. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Oh, Jesus. Do you need to leave a suicide note here? Like, where's, where's the body? Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama? Yeah, no, it's, de it's definitely dropping frames now. I don't know why. I'm gonna keep an eye on it though for like another minute or two. If it keeps up, we might have to end the stream soon. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh shit! What the hell? Okay, I'm not, I'm shitty at this, I'm sorry. Mrs. Bolt! Mrs. Bolt, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Ah. Oh. 
I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Is she still alive, the hell? Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Oh, the baby. She's been drinking a lot. And cookies. So that's messed up because you don't even know you don't even know how long it would take for them to find the baby here if you did if you did commit suicide. This kid would be in here for who knows how many days before someone found out. I guess we can check the bathroom. I don't anything else in here. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Yeah, that would be messed up. Like, cause if, if something did happen to a baby, like, and then there's no reason for someone to check on you in a couple of days. Like, the baby would be screwed in your... Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Oh, I need more. Still bleeding. Not perfect. Making you use your joystick a lot here. A lot of joystick action right now. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. I don't think she's okay, bro. My baby. Baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> okay. I don't know. When I'm around babies. Her name is Emily. Her name's gotcha. Emily? Okay. Babies usually like me though, but they also throw up all over me pretty often. <laughs> Let's wash our hands first. Oh gosh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, now, now the baby needs you, yeah. But you know, the, the breast is a real thing. Especially if she's a, um, you know, another victim. If I'm assuming that he's here because she was on the list of uh, people that lost a kid to the origami killer, so he must have lost her firstborn child. And then now she got a newborn. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Right. 
Yeah, I can. I never get used to the the poopy diapers. I don't know. That's, that's gonna be rough. Look, can I get to these diapers or whatever that is over here? The camera keeps changing angles on me. Bruh. Okay, well, we, I guess we're not gonna be able to go in that corner because it keeps changing size on me. <laughs> Every time I go over there, it starts doing that. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going that way then. What about that right there? Is that. Is that no? This is hard and not shooting somebody in the head right now. Just pause it. All right, lady, where where are the diapers and the wipes? Jenny, Jenny, who the fuck is Jenny? Oh, the typo. Okay. Oh, some that in here. I don't see any diapers though. The baby needs his mother. I think that well, his mother is a little bit preoccupied right now. Preoccupado. Okay, I don't know where the diapers are. I'm sorry. Anyway. Oh, okay, you see that. Never mind. Overthinking it, apparently. Okay. How do you do this? Seems like. Oh gosh, all the buttons. There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Here we go, see? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Just give her a bottle. Those like baby bottle ones are like up. interesting. Like heat the bottle up. And like pretty quickly. Then you gotta let it cool down afterwards so they didn't like burn them. I worked in a daycare at one point, so it's all out of that. Just tilt this bottle a little bit, so you don't choke. Okay. Well, he's, got, he's got some skills. Well, she drained that bottle. Jeez, Emily was thirsty. Good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? Here now, you go. I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze.
Just look at her face. <laughs> but she's enjoying it. Wow, what was it? <laughs> How did he drop her in there like that? What was that? Sorry, kid. Jesus. Okay, let's do it again. You're not walking, right? Hmm. Worst, worst temporary dad ever, right here. Let's, let's not plop her in there this time. There we go. Why does that keep failing? What? I'm just hitting down. Oh my god. Game, please. Oh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? All the intricate shit works fine, and then, like, just the down arrow. The down arrow doesn't want to work. They'll be doing, like, full, full half circle animations, but the down, the down arrow, though. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Keep crying, baby. Alright? I don't care. Don't care. Oh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. Yeah. I, I see I see what mommy's trying to do about her. I don't, I don't get it, guys. Well, I'm, I'm, just <laughs> I'm putting down arrow right here, okay? Sorry. I'm hitting kid. down. It You're is like. Rocking, right? hmm. wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys, alright? It just breaks. It's broken. Bruh. Dude, this has become my nightmare. This must be Sorry, like what purgatory kid. is right now. A crying baby that won't, rocking, that won't go right? to sleep. Hmm. And a broken QTE. Imagine like what hell would be like. And this is probably, this is probably in there. Exactly like Parenthood, though. Oh my gosh! Don't, don't, don't say that, Benicor, please. You're scaring me. What is like what, what? 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 Okay, like, let me just not push anything. Oh, sorry, kid. You're putting it down too fast. Well, why, well you should tell right? me that then. Hmm. All right, you should tell me that I'm, I'm, I'm hitting down too fast. Okay. Freaking baby. All right, here. You know what? You want, you want, it, you want it nice and slow. Fine. Look at her face. Freaking CGI baby. Game engine baby. Come on, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Nice and slow. There we, there we go. We'll plop our one in there. Like the sack of potatoes. Put some whiskey on her gums. I don't think that's a problem right now. A little light dragon punch for the baby, yeah. Seems legit. Yeah, some of the motion controls, like, it didn't tell me. Yo, it's this time mode, bruh. Thank you for the follow. I almost pooped my own pants. I might have been sitting here like Emily. But thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I am still dropping frames. You gotta let me know if it's like if it's dropping like like crazy. If it starts looking like it's not gonna hold up, then I might end the stream after this chapter just to make sure that we don't uh, get too much of the story interrupted. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. 
Wait, I'm done with that baby. Not Jeez. having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. This is depressing. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or well, something? It was your husband and he just dipped off like that? Jeez. No. Someone's got some kind of problem with marriage. He left the house without a word and... Whoever's writing the story. There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. Oh, maybe sure maybe he was another dad that went I'd off to save his kid before. and failed. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. Yeah, go talk to your moms, because uh, we're not in a healthy situation right now. Denny's luck he'll have crying twins. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh, my cousin just had twins uh, yesterday. So that makes four pairs of twins um, out of my generation of uh, my generation of family. So the, the twin gene is pretty strong. So most likely the, the uh, likelihood of me having twins too is pretty high. The thing is that it's a lot of twin boy and girl too. It's not like it's just like like two uh, twin uh, brothers. It's, it's mostly usually twin twin boy and sister, twin and sister. Like my dad, my dad and my aunt were were uh, twins. Suspect. All right, so this is Ethan's part. So I think we're going to try and um, do Ethan's. Uh, whatever this mission is, or is uh, a trial. Uh, hopefully, I don't drop too many things between now and then. Jason! Excuse me. Hey. Oh. Ah. 
Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Well, it's awesome like that, Flores. I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Wow. Well. Here, it's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. You want them, they'll be right over there. Ah, oh, you have yourself a good one, Chief. So this guy's been playing out some stuff pretty intricately. If he's he's planned this out two years ago. So he's had that car sitting here for quite some time. Someone like that would be really detail oriented. This was actually Jason, in which case he would, he would have done that too. But why would he be so uh, late to get involved? Why would he send himself these kind of letters? Unless it was like some bike club type stuff where you're making yourself a second personality. So we gotta upstairs. Well, it's in the third floor, so check it out. Third floor we go. Yeah, this has been quite the uh, the game experience so far, though. I've been, I've been enjoying it. We probably have quite a bit to uh, play through. This game. There'll be four different characters to run through at the same time. I feel like there's definitely going to be some times we'll be crossing to other people. But I still don't know what the, the girl's about. Like, we haven't really seen any kind of her since that uh, weird scene. But I've seen her in the um, like trailer, not the trailer, but like the, uh, the promotional pictures. as something to put on uh, for Twitter. So I know she must have some kind of big part. So can we maybe use the phone in here? We found the car. How do I do this? There we go. Uh, the compartment? Anything? No. Go behind the seat? Okay, maybe we should check the trunk. What is that? The GPS? Your destination is four miles from here. Wow, so you really plan this out. The parking lot and take the first right. And the controller rumbles when you pull off to you, which is pretty cool.
Smith didn't even play last year with coming out. And he's got he got on his ground. They're playing this game like with some jigsaw stuff. He said that if we want to get our get our son back, we have to do five different trials. So I wonder what the first one's gonna be. GPS system is this. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only need. No turning back now. now. Let's do it. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. We got this. This is really insane. This is really insane. What can we do? It? Come on! Oh god. Oh god! What is this? You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. Motion controls. Oh, that one got hit, bruh. Ridiculous right now. Come on! Move out of the goddamn way! Move out of the way! Come on! This one stops. What are you doing? One mile to go before you reach your destination. Okay, I don't, think, I don't think driving the wrong way on the on the highway would be the right thing to do. Even if you are the base. Not safe for anyone right now. I didn't see that one down there. Well, okay, we just get cops murdered. Look at me out with these upside down uh, QTEs right now. Come on. No, I'm not gonna blow up here. Grab it.
me out of here. Insane, but we're alive. Neo Nemo, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Just almost died on the highway. Okay, we're well, I'm still alive at least. Came in too late with the shower part? Or you, you mean like shower, like hot dude ass? Yo, you did. Yeah, you did. That was pretty dangerous. We almost got, you know, a ton of people killed as well. Trying to save our son, but you know what? If I was a dad, I'd probably do the same thing. Yeah, I would have ran too, but we never would have been out of there, but... Oh, it's the girl again. Okay, well, maybe we get to see more of her story. Good driver. <laughs> yes. Achieving a lot, guys. See, you doubt me. You can doubt me in these streets, but you see, you see, the game understands. It knows. It knows I try. And then let's just chill. No, it's same here. Hey, welcome, my Jed Ted Stone. Boy. Yeah, this has uh, been pretty fun. We're playing uh, Debbie Rain. It's my first time playing through. We're playing the HD remastered version on uh, PS4. Is the motorcycle one? Nice. So what's her story? I wonder. The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news of 10 year old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now... Yo, what's that, bro? What's that, man? I don't think you wash your hands, bro. So don't touch me. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? Nothing with that creepy voice. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Well, thank you, Melina. Madison, page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. Yep, well that's, that's Twitch chat right there. Creepy. Alright, now let's uh, go in. Go to the courtyard, I think. The other side. This is pretty accurate for a motel, though. I didn't catch what room number it was, though. Did you only catch the room number? I wasn't paying attention, of course. Me paying attention in the game should probably be a thing, right? But here we are. Room two oh one. It's 
stairs on the right, last four. Yeah, it seems to be almost back to normal, um, but I did drop a severe amount of frames for a while. Hopefully it holds up a bit more now. Sir? <sighs> Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. <sighs> you need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Him and Ethan, they got this girl involved that's gonna probably try and be Captain Save him and help you out. She doesn't even know you. Falling for your your boy is trying. Have you got the key? Uh. Probably needs a drink. Or at least some water. For them broken ribs, I'm sure he has. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Sore as hell. I'm sure it's more than sore, but. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I'm gonna go grind some moons. Some moons. Is that like a destiny thing, or is that Pokemon? I don't. I don't know. I'm getting old, guys. I don't know what the hell that is. What is. What does grind some moons mean? Is that some kind of sexual term, Duck? Explain. I should disinfect his cuts. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Let me try that. Here, take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help Tomorrow, reduce the pain. Tomorrow, Odyssey? Okay. I've been hearing a lot of good things about that game, which isn't surprising. Hours. I don't think it's a good I idea like to exceed the dose. I thought the Switch would be really, really pretty cool to have around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one this away. season, though, because they're not on sale at all. Yeah, maybe, maybe by Christmas time. We'll see. Yeah, no more pills for you, bro. What's this? I should disinfect his cuts. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. You wish you could grind some bones? Please, Doc. Don't, don't. Don't grind up Mario, okay? No, no, no. Sorry. Are you okay? I gotta go slow, okay. So when it blinks, I think that means I'm supposed to be going a little bit slowly. It wasn't so bad. There. At least it won't get infected. 
Yeah, but Thanks. that deck, don't, don't, don't put any of your, your crazy um, Super Mario fantasies on us. All right. All right. If you decide to do what you're to know, it's the safety of your own home. All right. It's okay. Let me help you. Now they got they got shirtless Mario and Mario and nipples now, but you just have to, have to calm down. Don't go overboard. I'll wait here until you there, come out. Kind of Let me know if you need anything. Anymore. Yeah, I know the feeling. That's how I felt when I was in, in college. I used to have to work, uh, jobs would make me work on holiday shifts and I would miss out on uh, the actual holiday. So it was a bit rough. Talk to years. me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, I come and spend a night here. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm, I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Are you vegan? Not to her the share room with a... Uh... No, this is his room. Like it was, it's the key number. It's the key that uh, he got from the car. Better now. Her room is two hundred one down the hall. Okay. I better get going then. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. <laughs> You're so confused. Was that an egg or a cotton pad? I don't like. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Give me some more pills, please. Oh yeah, we got gotta check the uh, the shoe box for more clues. Did he just have an egg? Jump out of cake, so that makes sense, Nemo. Now I know the truth. You've been hiding it from me. Nemo, what are you even up to? You? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant on Fred Street. So we got another clue, guys. So basically, we have to we have to do five different trials to be able to actually save our son. Apparently, but considering that some of these fathers haven't actually been around or been seen since their kid's disappearance, I'm thinking that he's not the first one that the origami killer has tried to do this with. And they must have either failed and died in the process, uh, or something else has happened. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. 
Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Or you can stop being a dick. That's him. Yeah, he's uh, been working on uh, music. Nice. Still doing the Rocksmith thing. Super cool. Bad Mama Falcon. Hey, what's up? Welcome. You're Slav Corda? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Stop mind to say hi because you're, you're playing my game. Well, congrats on, on the new uh, the new baby. Oh. By the way. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Oh, God, we're chasing somebody. Okay. Ah. Hey, man, watch it. Ah. Yeah, we've only been playing a couple hours. Uh, hey, uh, I'm not sure where you left off last, but if it is a spoiler, then you have to play with it. Like it's all. From Chicago too. She went to CTUT with me uh, like a year or two ago, and uh, this is awesome cosplay. Hey man, watch it. She's, she's the coolest game right now. Playing a variety of games, you know, taking, taking speed running some. Uh... <laughs> Yo, that was a fail. Hey man, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. She was speed running that Outlast. Uh, doing pretty good at it too. Let me check her out sometime. Oh, there's chickens! Not the chickens! Not the birds! The birds! Get off me! It's freaking Zelda out here. Oh gosh, and now, now it turns into Sound Hill 2. Eddie, are you in here? Don't, don't have any midnight meat train flashbacks. No, I know you're thinking it. Don't spoil the meat. Oh, oh what the? <laughs> You'll get wrecked. Ah. Okay. Okay. Give him the hands. Come on, come on. Get in there. Ah, my thumbs. Alright, gave him the work. It's another day as an FBI agent. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. <laughs> now we eat him ribs. I wish I had some ribs right now. See, it didn't go right doing this to me. This is not the time. Cat and mouse. This is your favorite part, really? Yeah, I'm looking forward to you uh, catching you again soon, Falcon. Good to see you. Mm. No. Mm. K is better. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Nice of you to stop by. Uh, we're playing Heavy Rain right now. It's been a uh, interesting affair. He just beats by his ass. What's this? Badge. This is days when the force are over. Gun. Always need that. For close encounters. You really like summon a, a, a group of chickens to attack me, though. 
I don't know what kind of sorcery that was, but it was pretty impressive, I gotta say. A detective with a heart of gold and an extreme asthma problem. I'm take a little puff. There you go. Nice outfit, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah, this is part of my uh, my Noir November uh, fit right here. We try and get snazzy when we can. I'll take a little around here. Police, the uh, United States Armed Forces. Mm, got some nice pictures. I guess he's been looking up the uh, different areas for the case, uh, the killers and the victims. I do like how they um, break down each individual, uh, you know, character and give them their own moments. So. You start finding out more in, about each uh, each character individually, and then they kind of come together. It seems I'm pretty sure we're gonna probably end up seeing him meet up with the FBI guy at some point. No other story, or or um, Ethan will get involved. It's like he's ashamed of being a cop now, or it's weird. Closet, bed, couch. It's in here. Bathroom. What have you been up to, uh, K's better? How's uh, how's your uh, Saturday been going? Cheers to the weekend. It is Saturday night. You guys are now twerking. You know, getting your groove on. I'm gonna probably end up having a drink after stream. Drink in the Punisher. I'm gonna probably end up watching the Punisher too. In a little bit. Who's that? Who's ringing my doorbell? Will you be with? Let's be this door. You said I could contact oh, you if well, I remember there. anything. You mean he's shocked. Come in. Sure. Come, come in. I've just been playing games and watching Netflix. It's not a bad combo. Let me take your coat. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Uh, yeah, I, I got water in here somewhere once I find it. <laughs> Don't mind me, I totally know my own house. This is fine. I uh, just, uh,. Got a little turn around there, so. You had a video shoot earlier? Oh, nice. You like, you uh, like, what, like modeling or cosplay or what kind of, kind of video shoot? I don't mean, nosy. Here's some water for you, ma'am. Thanks. One of them old grandma cups. Okay, you're thirsty. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important. 
but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Okay, I might have a clue here. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. That sounds like a bad idea. I don't know about that. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Wow, okay. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. Wait. You know, playing that, playing that, that hardball right you're now. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? We're partners. Nice. It's a short series for the DQ killer and a piece of light acting with Dan Arthur at first. Yeah, you know, sometimes I, I've had to shoot a couple of things. You know, usually it just takes a couple of takes to just get out of the awkwardness and like just kind of lose kind of it. I think it's a lot easier. It took me a while to get used to hearing myself too, but it gets, it gets easier after time. It's good though. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Where the hell are we? It's pretty like a fancy, pretty fancy establishment. Hello, gentlemen. Good evening. I'll well, just be strolling through your gates now. As you, uh, what are you doing simple. here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? Big Wood Tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Interesting. It didn't hurt much, uh, like, heavier music outside of, like, piano and a uh, couple strings. What's going on here? Okay, let me see how they spend their Saturday night. Good time. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Yeah, it's, okay. This is a little bit too much right now. Need me. David Cage, please. It looks like the social network. The same girl with just different shorts on. Hi! Great party, huh? Hi! I haven't seen Well, let's get better acquainted, pal! <laughs> Uh, 
Facebook. I mean, no, at least I spent this Saturday night. Fifty times. What, what is she doing back there? What's that? What, wait, hold on. Hold on, real quick. What, what dance is that? What is, what is that dance she's doing right there? Oh yeah. You get it. It's like going there all over again. See, this is when I put on. This is when I put on the Migos again, guys. This is when I put on the Migos and we just turn out in here. You guys, are, you gotta look. I don't have a. You know, if I, if I wasn't worried about the the, the bog getting flagged right now, I would totally play some Migos. It's not working, guys. It's not working. That's a uh, scuba diving. I don't know what that was. Giant shot at the shot glass there. Jeez. The max kicks in basically. What's up, Hesley? Stumble that door, yeah. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. What's going on here? She looks pretty uncomfortable. She decided to come with us. Now is she like super uncomfortable here when she's like a prostitute? I'm pretty sure she gets like all kind of shady by the Fancy ass party for what's going on here. Look at this guy, he's about to make out with a damn Sphinx. Yeah, I think I've seen you around here before, but uh, you know, it's looking pretty, pretty hot there. Your uh, brass, nice, nice abs. Yeah, you know, here's my number, you know, just want to maybe hang out some time, you know, some Starbucks. Fits to this bad music, yeah, it's pretty rough. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. He's bad as this. I mean, he looks like a narc. He looks like a narc, guys. Like he's still wanting here with this damn trench coat on in a tie. At a party. It's like me strolling into the, into the club wearing this right now. Dressed like fucking Neo. What's up, ladies? They call me a Mario. Touch! You know, out here just. Here we go. Yeah. Get it. Ignored. <laughs> Ignored. Ignored the shadow just now. Great party, huh? Mm. That curve. I think I didn't come here to make friends. The curve is too strong. 
He's over here just like, like, like a like an X-Men. Okay, well, I don't see Gordy. He's over here. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Need it. She ain't looking look my way. I thought you got the, I got no game, man. I got no juice. You guys over here, oh, you, who's Judy going to do? Oh, you go, the ladies. Look at that, look at those maneuvers guys. Tantalizing. Oh my. Yeah, this is this is this is too much. Love the love pad right here. This is where this is where the shit goes down. You just find two Asian women and <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. The fuck? <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> he's got two chicks making out next to him, and he's like, "Hold oh, my the chickens." My name is Scott Show. You're too strong. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, that's some serious drugs. <laughs> Why does it look like, like, a, like a broke John Oliver? The comedian. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Brad, like the like misogyny in this game what is like want? pretty shitty. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. Mm. End of story. 
nothing to get excited about, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. Uh. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. What the hell? And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Did you just confess right now? Get rid of this clown! Yo, get your hands off me. Yeah, it's two on one isn't fair right now. Mortal Kombat! Oh, you guys suck. The gun down. You need to hire better security, bro. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Savage. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Why are you sounding so creepy right now unless you actually the killer? Don't stare at me like that either. Alright, so this entire scene has been extremely strange. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just have to leave some Diddy Watt in chat for that one. Got an achievement though. Achievement! Point two seven eight inches. Or is it gonna do like whatever Ethan's next trial is here? Or we'll probably call it a night for today. But we'll probably play some more of this tomorrow. We'll see what they have him doing now. Next trial. It does make you question kind of like, you know, how far do you go for your children? I feel like most people would do stuff like this though. But the chances of dying are so high that who knows? Butterflies. And it's a Netflix and chill with them. You want the Netflix and chill with them? I don't know if there's anything you want to do there. Seems like you want to do a lot more than that. Yeah, that's true, actually. You know, sometimes, you know, people play themselves. Play themselves right out of, uh... Right out of the pennies. Giving me more. I have to say, get more room to walk around here. I'm surprised. I'm 
trying to decide if I'm going to go and uh, make a trip uh, next week to go to the movies. I haven't seen Thor or Justice League yet, but I'm considering going to see at least one of them at some point. I do want to see like, Guillermo del Toro's new movie too, but it doesn't come out until next month, I believe. But it looks pretty uh, pretty interesting, and I really love his uh, when he makes uh, emotional stories. Pan's Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies ever. Okay, careful here. Yeah, we got barbed wire and we got like a power, like a industrial power plant conductor area. As long as Electro doesn't pop out and start sinking into the spider like Spider-Man 2, it'll be pissed off. It happens. It took what could have been a really cool Electro type of thing and made into a, a just hilariously bad. But we won't talk about Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Well, Spider-Man 2 is a good movie. Amazing Spider-Man 2, though? Awesome. You want to see Justice League? Thor was good? Yeah, I, I've heard good things about Thor. And I know people are like, it's, it's uh, trying too hard to be funny, and it's not serious enough. Pretty much, unless it's a, uh, a Russo Brothers movie, I don't expect it to be serious. Pretty much the Russo's are the only ones doing the serious movies now. With Josh Whedon really not attached to any movie. Uh, like the Russo's did, you know, Winter Soldier and Civil War. So they're, they're, they're doing the new Avengers movies. So outside of those, I don't really see any other Marvel movies really getting too hard and deep in there. Might be strange kind of had some serious tones too at the times. Taking a thought on the rain. Let me enjoy that. She is raining everywhere, guys. She is, this is, it must be a weird phenomenon right now. The rain covering the planet while I play this game. about to climb into this thing? Are you serious? Ethan, I don't think this is a good idea, bro. I don't think this is a good idea. Do you want to play a game? You've got me your first key, Ethan. The key to success. But now I wonder if your heart's really in it. We're about to find out now while she's walking this class. Live or die. The choice is yours. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. Slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. fantastic, guys. Hope you guys are ready for some cringe. Let's get the crawling. I'm going full army mode in here. Yeah, you, you enjoy that. Your shins and your arms are gonna feel it. That's where we're going. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. I couldn't see shit there, so get again, please. There we go. Right it is. 
Thanks for hanging out for the entire stream. I really appreciate it. I know it's super late in UK, so... My vision's getting blurry. Easy does it. I've got to move slowly. Or I'm gonna faint. Alright. I'm going slower. I'm going slower. Have a good night, Alex. I will, uh... We have a night pretty soon here, I think. But I appreciate you hanging out. I was powerballing through that, uh, through that glass. This is fine, though. This is totally fine. Alright, let's see where the air is. Chicken? Well, I hope not. That's a, that's a that's a rough way to eat chicken, bro. That is, the turkey is an abomination. Yes, yes it is. I do like Swiss cheese right now. We ah. honestly don't remember this part. What's up, my controllers? Out here struggling. Apparently, Ethan, you know, isn't 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 tough enough to let me um, just spam this button and without passing out. So. Pain in the ass, but we're alive. Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. That looks like fun. I'm turning some like saw stuff right now. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Jigsaw to come out. The choice is yours. My controllers. We found out that you guys were eating chicken nuggets we were supposed to. And robbing children at gunpoint. Yeah, 
it's time for me to find out the shocking truth about yourself. Mm. Your choice is yours. Coward. Okay, so I could try and leave out here and then, you know, like, like wash my sunbag. Or we could just do some limbo action with the uh, power lines, right? But shout out to my controllers, you know, you got to check them out, show some love if you, if you do the stream. This is Noir November, we're in the middle of heavy rain, we started today, our first playthrough. We're, we're playing the PS4 remaster of the game. Looks pretty good to me. Apparently we're going to do some limbo with some uh, power lines, which is looking like a bad idea. Look at Ethan now, he's walking slow. He's got that old man walk now. Oh, my back! Megapod D! Alright, let's try this again. Jesus, look at my like right, the buttons. The buttons right now. Four buttons. Okay, it's fine. Let's do it again. I might even. It's fine. I don't know the PS4 button uh, stuff. Five buttons, man. Come on. Really? Really right now? You want me to do this? You want me to do this right now? Are you serious? Alright. It's fine. Yeah, now we're dropping frames again all of a sudden. So, we'll definitely be ending after this. Okay, so that's not the right way, I guess. How can I how can I see? I don't have any zap here, bitch boy. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> This one looks better, actually. Can I make that one, maybe? Okay. Okay, the hot, the hot yoga paid off. Crouching dog. It looks like it's the easiest to get through right now. Okay, I can't move. I better have a good look at each one of those condensers. If I choose the right route, I'll have a better chance of coming through this in one piece. I think I can do this with the dots stuff. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. I didn't come this far to give up now. I've got to go all the way if I want to save Sean. Right. So I can't move anywhere else right now. Okay. Let's try this one, I guess. Game. I got potatoes, 
guys right now. Oh <laughs> my god. I'm glad I was in the middle of a cutscene, like a, a QTE right there. I would have I would've died. Okay, can we have to move around this time or no? This one's definitely safer. Close. Evil baby. Uh, which one? Definitely this one. It's dramatic music right now. No more Ethan. We got this. We will save Sean. I can get my face blown in. Static shock. Right, come on. A little bit more. Backwards? I'm so bad. How do we end up going backwards? I will not give up. I'm in this all the way to the bitter end if it saves my son. Like doesn't make sense because I didn't they, I didn't come in this way. Okay, the game's the game's fucking with me because. This was definitely the one that I came in on right here. And that one's definitely got live wire going through it now. And this one doesn't. This is that BS right now. All I did was follow those stupid QTEs. Fuck out of here, A-Town. <laughs> what a dick. one here. 
Here we go. We're getting closer. You limbo on in there, even. Come on. Keep on shimmying. What the fuck? fast enough apparently. Come on Ethan. You got this. Praise the sun. Okay. Ninja roll, though. Well, at least we wore a jacket, otherwise we would have been screwed in that um, tunnel full of glass. This is so fucked up. This kid's just stuck. They clearly says Roosevelt. All right, so that's two trials down. We got we got three more to go before we can find our find our son. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Dead, yeah. Electrified. Yeah, I got electrified alright. Wednesday 9 p.m. I think this is actually a good place to stop for the night before we go any further and it gets uh, gets crazy. But it's been a, it's been some good progress. I think we've uh, we've done some good stuff with the uh, the game so far. Hope you guys been enjoying it. He's got a shocking personality. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think I'm gonna stop here for now. I think like uh, I don't want to risk any more frames going crazy uh, for the night. CDK is better. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to uh, back out of this one for now. I should have saved, I think, when you start a new, new uh, chapter. Uh, so we should be good. Thank you guys all for, for hanging out for the uh, Nor November stream.